In this video, you'll learn how to import a CSV or an Excel file into an Oracle database using SQL Developer. The process for importing a CSV is the same as importing an Excel file, so we'll demonstrate the process you can use for either file type. There are other methods such as SQL Loader, but I'll cover those in another video. Let's get into it. Here's the file we're going to import. It's a CSV file with a few rows. This process will work for a file of five rows, as well as a file of thousands of rows. Now let's open SQL Developer. With SQL Developer open, connect to your database. In the Object Explorer on your left, expand your connection. Right click on the Tables entry, then select Import Data. You don't need to have a table already. This process can create a new table for you, or it can add to an existing table. You'll see a new window that will start the process of importing data into the database. The first step here is to select your file. Click on the Browse button to select your file. In this example, I'll select the CSV file we saw earlier, but you can also select an Excel file. There are a range of options on this screen that you can set, which depend on the data in the file you're importing. Most of the time, you should be able to leave them at the default but you can change things like the delimiter if the columns are split using a different character or the left and right enclosure if the strings are enclosed in a different character. At the bottom of the screen you'll see the file contents window which shows a preview of the data you're importing. If this looks okay you can proceed by clicking next. The next screen is the import method screen. You can select how you want the data to be imported. There are several methods and some of them are only available for CSV files. The default method is insert, which will insert all of your data as part of this process. Insert script will prepare a script at the end of the process for you to run and import the data, which can be helpful. External table and staging external file will generate a DDL statement for reading the file. And SQL Loader Utility will generate files for SQL Loader to import a table, which is great for larger files. For this example, we'll select Insert. Enter a table name for the imported data to be inserted into, which can be a new table name. Click Next. In the next screen, you can select which columns you want to import. This is helpful if your file has a lot of columns but you don't want all of them. The list on the left, which is empty by default, shows all columns available in the file but not part of the import process. The list on the right will show all columns that are being imported and has all of the columns in it by default. If you want to exclude a column from being imported, click on it and click on the left arrow to move it to the list on the left. For now, we'll leave all columns in the selected columns list and click next. On this screen, you can choose the data types and the other details of each column. In the Source Data Columns list, select the column you wish to modify. On the right, once you select the column, you can see the name of the new column in the table. You can see and change the data type, size, precision, scale, whether it can be null, a default value and even leave a comment. You can see a preview of the data at the bottom as well. If you're importing a date field, you can specify the date format of the source data as well, which is very handy as dates can be entered in a variety of different formats. You don't have to change anything on this screen. You can just select each of the columns and confirm that the data types are what you expect. Once it looks OK, click Next. You'll then see a summary screen of your selections. If it all looks OK, click Finish. The data will then be imported and you should see a success message. To verify the data is imported, we can run a SELECT statement on the new table. This query here will select all records from the table we imported. And here are the results of that query. We can see the data was imported as we expected. So that's how you can import an Excel file or a CSV file into an Oracle database using SQL Developer. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and development, visit databasestar.com. That's where I share my best database related content. Which step from this tutorial was the most helpful for you? Was it the ability to verify and modify the data types for each column, 
or the different import methods that are available or something else. Thanks for watching.